Connor Knighton is island hopping again. And this morning, he's taking us to an idyllic spot that's the cat's meow. Welcome to paradise. These cats on the small Hawaiian island of Lanai have got it made. Amazing weather, meals served in their own cat fertiria, occasional massages, and a steady influx of adoring fans ready to give them all the love and attention they could ever want. All the cats are happy, like you could tell. Like, they are so friendly and you could tell they enjoy being here. Lanai is the least visited of the publicly accessible Hawaiian islands. Overnight guests typically come to stay at the fancy Four Seasons Resort down on the coast. So pretty here. But tourists with a cat fancy have started flying over just to spend time at a rustic outdoor sanctuary, known locally as the Fur Seasons. 95% of the cats that we bring into the sanctuary are completely feral meaning they were born in the wild and they have never had any human interaction until us. There is enough for everybody. Keone Vaughn is the executive director of the Lanai Cat Sanctuary, created to help address the island's feral cat problem. I'm a 45-year-old male that runs a 600 cat sanctuary. I don't mind being labeled the crazy cat guy. <laughs> yeah, it's really, the cat ladies get the bad rap. Right. So you never hear about the crazy cat guys. Time to break the mold. I'll be the cat, crazy cat guy. <laughs> it was actually a lady named Cat with a crazy idea who got this project off the ground. My name is Kathy, but mm. people call me Cat, and um, I've always had an affinity for them since I was little. We always had a cat, one or two, but not 600. But Kathy Carroll yeah, moved to Lanai scared. in 2001 to open an art gallery with her husband. She was surprised when she discovered so many starving cats roaming around the island. As you look around the sanctuary today, the, all the cats you see here were roaming in town or down at the resort at the golf course and in pretty sad shape, either very hungry, homeless cats. Cats were originally brought to Hawaii long ago on passing ships. Lanai's open spaces and lack of predators led to an explosion in the feral cat population. On the cliffs right beside the Four Seasons, cats were running wild and destroying the wildlife. The cats began to prey on native birds, like the wedge-tailed shearwater, which nest right into the sand. In the higher elevations, cats discovered the endangered petrel, a Hawaiian bird that is especially vulnerable. Since the cats are an invasive species in Hawaii, there was a fear that they might be euthanized. But this cat had a different idea. Those birds are protected by state law and federal law. And we wanted to find a way to uh, love and protect the cats, love and protect the birds, and help the community. Now, the cats that are trapped on the island are brought to this enclosed sanctuary. There's no vet, so twice a month, one flies over from Honolulu. While some of the feral cats spend all day in hiding, those who do venture out receive no shortage of attention. This is probably our 12th time at the cat sanctuary, wow. for, and we stay for like an hour, two hours at a time. The, the kids just love it. The first seasons has turned into a surprisingly popular attraction. Only 3,000 or so people live on Manai, so the sanctuary survives on donations from outside visitors. In the last 12 months, we've had over 10,000 visitors. People from all over the world of all ages come here, and it's really, really nice to see uh, their smiles on their face. And it's really great that all these cats are getting the attention. Today, there are definitely still feral cats roaming wild on Manai, but I didn't see any. Maybe the word is starting to get out. If I was a cat, I'd be knocking on the door, like, hey, how do I get into this place? It's a place that the humans seem to enjoy just as much as the felines. Just be careful not to fall too deeply in love, or else you might end up going home with a cuddly souvenir. All of these cats are available for adoption.